Hi all. Today's topic is all about steps to submit my TE in Accenture. So guys, uh, this my TE is nothing but my time and expenses. In this, uh, there will be two fortnights, okay? Like for 15 days, okay? For every 15 days in a month, you need to submit this my TE. Okay, you will be informed by your HR or POC and you will be receiving a lot of mails also. So you need not worry that you will be forget to uh, fill the mighty like that because you will be getting a mails. Okay, reminder one, reminder two, reminder three like that. So you need to submit once in a month for two times. Okay, like uh, 15 days you need to submit so first 15 days is nothing but called as first fortnight and second 15 days is nothing but second fortnight so in my te basically we will be having important uh, fields okay so these tabs you have to uh, go through and fill that so i will be giving overview totally like what to submit and how to get your charge code and what is uh, uh, the steps okay what are the you know the first one what i have to fill second one what i have to fill so all these questions i'm gonna answer in this video so if you see here we are having tabs right like first one is like time and second tab is expenses tab third one is locations fourth one is charge code uh, adjustments summary and preferences right so basically uh, i used to follow an order okay i'll be explaining you which order i will be following in this video so don't skip this video guys watch till end i'll be explaining you clearly every tab okay how to fill and before this guys if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please do subscribe i need your support and uh, and this is a small request from my side now let's continue with the video so here out of all these tabs okay time locations charge code preferences okay these four tabs are really mandatory and very very important okay you should not skip this so let me discuss the order now so first i used to fill locations the second one i used to fill charge code okay and third one is time the fourth one is preferences and fifth one is expenses and sixth one is the summary and seventh one is the adjustments okay adjustments is uh, not at all mandatory don't worry about adjustments uh, if something is wrong in the current fortnight you can adjust it in the second fortnight okay that will be option uh, provided here so you need not worry about the adjustments so this is the order i used to follow so now let's go order wise okay which order i was displaying you here let's go with that order only and i suggest you to follow the same order which will be like very easy and convenient okay now let's see the first one like in the order which is nothing but the locations so inside this location tab uh, if you can see there will be three options for you so if you want to click on the add location so you will be seeing the country and location one location two so you can uh, select country as india and location one is nothing but the uh, state like uh, it will be chennai or bangalore or hyderabad or pune whatever it is so that is the location one and location two is nothing but the building number okay for suppose your location is chennai okay you have selected country as india and your lo location okay first location is chennai and your location two will be the building okay like cdc uh, so those buildings will be there okay so that will be the location two so once you uh okay once you fill the location details you can click on add okay this will be for every fortnight guys every fortnight you have to uh fill the location first okay now let's move to the second tab which is nothing but the charge code okay inside charge code it is not like a single charge code all the time you will be getting okay there are multiple categories okay for suppose you are in a training phase let us assume okay in this training period you will be having one charge code okay 
for suppose after training you got allocated to one project okay for that project there will be another charge code and a uh, project is also not a permanent thing right suppose you have worked in a project for eight months okay after that you got relieved from that project and uh, you got assigned to some other project so for these two projects the charge codes will be different okay this will be informed to you by your poc so all these charge codes are different so and for suppose you have taken a leave or any sick leave or personally whatever it is so for that leave there will be another charge code so like this for each category the charge codes will be there already so for suppose uh, you have got into a new project let us assume so that charge code is not available in the list okay so in this list if that charge code is not available first of all uh, whatever charge code they have given you need to search for that okay you and in the list if you find the charge code you can add that into your list okay so that when you are filling the time okay at that time it will be auto pop i mean it will be populated and you can select that so here you need to add the charge code so this charge code is one time if you add it will be saved okay you need not add every uh, uh fortnight okay once you add here then it will be added to your charge code list so when you are filling the hours in the time then it will be helpful to you to select this charge code okay so guys after this you need to click on save button actually in previous also I have forgotten so in locations also when you are adding a location you need to save that okay there will be a save button right please click on that save button so now the third tab is time so time is really really important one so please uh, listen carefully when i am explaining you so here the location the code everything will be uh, auto populated guys because you have already added the location so those things will be there so after that um, code here you can see the empty field right in the charge code column please click here okay when you double click you will be seeing uh, a filter to add your charge code okay so here you need to search for your charge code guys okay once you search for your charge code you can uh, get that right you can see in the box right so please select that charge code once and once you select the charge code in the you can see right here in the columns monday tuesday wednesday thursday like that so here you need to fill the hours okay like nine hours you have you like our working time will be for nine hours right so please fill nine hours here uh, in each and every tab so monday nine hours so tuesday nine hours wednesday nine hours like that but uh, don't fill for saturdays and sundays because it's just not applicable so please don't fill for weekends so whenever you like weekdays you have to fill suppose you will be having a doubt so what if i'm having a public holiday like any festival it is a holiday uh, or else leave it is a uh, like you are taking a leave so how to fill that so the first charge code is filled right which uh, you got assigned to project so the next okay the right next row you have to double click again so search for leave okay which leave you have applied that leave you have to select okay so after selecting that so on which day suppose you have applied uh, sick leave on wednesday let us assume so at that point of uh, okay uh, row and column okay leave row and wednesday column you need to fill nine hours okay and you need to uh, strike off or else remove the hours which is already filled okay you would have filled in the above right so please erase that nine hours in the project allocation charge code and fill it in the leave row okay are you understanding right uh, so it is uh, it's it's very easy guys so you are filling it for leave row okay leave charge code you are filling nine hours so please remove the hours you filled for the project assigned you haven't attended right so you need to erase so similarly for the public holiday as well so if you are having public holiday on uh, okay friday like that in the new row you need to select a one more charge code which is nothing but a public holiday and you need to fill the hours in the 
ఫ్రైడే కాలమ్ ఓకే ఇన్ ద పబ్లిక్ హాలిడే రో అండ్ ఫ్రైడే కాలమ్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఫిల్ అండ్ ఎరేజ్ ద ప్రీవియస్ అవర్స్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫిల్డ్ యూ కెన్ ఎరేజ్ సో అదర్వైజ్ లీవ్ ఎంటీ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వే యూ నీడ్ టు ఫిల్ యువర్ టైమ్ గైస్ లైక్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ అలకేటెడ్ వన్ ఆర్ లీవ్ ప్లాన్ ఆర్ పబ్లిక్ హాలిడే యూ నీడ్ టు ఫిల్ సో యూ కెన్ సీ ఎట్ లాస్ట్ ఓకే ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ కాలమ్ యూ కెన్ సీ హౌ మెనీ హార్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫిల్డ్ ఓకే so here it is a sample one i have shown you but in real time you will be having around 1 or 8 hours 99 hours like that so all the fields okay monday tuesday wednesday every day okay first 15 days whole 15 days you have to fill here uh, i have shown you only seven right monday to friday or saturday but there you have to fill all the days whichever they have mentioned so guys uh, this is overall about the time tab once you fill everything you need to click on save guys so with this the time tab is completed now let's move to the next important tab which is nothing but preferences so inside preferences you can see reviewer approver and uh, notification like sub for submission like that and delegates will be there so here I have mentioned the two which is nothing but like important one is nothing but reviewer and approver okay so uh, you need to get these details from your poc okay your poc will be telling you what to mention here okay who will be reviewing your uh time report so all these uh, details will be given by your poc or hr you can contact so uh, once you got your approver or reviewer name you should uh, type here okay one you should mention here so th those usernames will be reflected so once you mention their uh, uh, enterprise id or uh, username you need to click the right arrow which will be reflected in the right side so for suppose you have entered wrong thing then you need to click on the left arrow so it will be erased again you can fill and click on the right arrow so similarly uh, for this review or whatever you have filled you can uh, get the details for the approver as well so once you fill the approver and right click then it will be moved to the right side so with this uh, you can add your preferences guys so this is also most important because whatever you submitted is right or wrong will be evaluated by the reviewer so uh, so these reviewer and approvers if they approve then only your time sheet will be ready and you will be uh, getting your salary for that so okay now with this we have completed the preferences tab as well so these preferences also uh, until unless there is a change okay there is change in the project or details of the approval uh, it will be remind okay every fortnight you need not uh, fill but you can cross check whether it is there or not so okay now let's see the expenses tab so expenses tab is nothing but uh, it will be having a lot of categories guys like for food allowance or i mean meal allowance travel allowance uh, so accommodation allowance so Uh, last one is like telecom and internet so there are many categories i have mentioned a few so for anything if you want to uh, claim the expense okay claim the reimbursement then you can choose the options here and uh, you can claim the bills okay so here i have uh, uh, chosen the last one let us think for internet okay so for internet they will be asking you the bill okay what uh, every uh, month you will be paying the broadband bill right so for wifi or uh, anything it is so that bill you have to upload and how much is the gst amount I have to choose one uh, charge code for specially for internet expenses there will be one charge code you can search in the search box okay some it will be like around 1000 rupees some charge code will be there so that you have to choose or you can ask any of the colleagues like uh, what is the charge code for this and i have already made a video in our channel guys uh, regarding this uh, my t time expense thing so you can go through that uh, for internet expenses how to claim the procedure overall i have explained in this video guys i'll be leaving you the link in the card and uh, in the description as well you can go and uh, click the link and watch the video for clear uh, idea so with this we have uh, completed the expenses tab as well now the last one is the summary tab so summary tab is nothing but uh, whatever you have filled till now okay 
सो ऑल दो स्टैंडर्ड हार्स ओके सो द एक्सपेंस थिंग एवरी थिंग विल बी एज अ समरी टू यू यू कैन जस्ट क्रॉस चेक वेदर वॉट एवर यू हैव विल इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो वंस यू क्रॉस चेक एवरी थिंग इज करेक्ट दैन यू शुड क्लिक ऑन द सबमिट बटन ओके गाइज वंस यू क्लिक ऑन द सबमिट बटन यू विल इट विल बी टेलिंग दैट यूर टाइम रिपोर्ट इज रेडी टू बी सबमिटेड सो इफ यू आर ओके देन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन एज अदरवाइज इफ यू फाइंड एनी थिंग इज रॉन्ग देन यू कैन कैंसल दैट एंड फिल अगेन सो वंस लेट एस एज्यूम दैट यू आर ओके विद इट एंड यू क्लिक ऑन येस सो दैट्स इट गाइज यूर टाइम रिपोर्ट इज सबमिटेड सो नाउ इफ यू कैन आस्क फॉर द एडजस्टमेंट्स राइट सपोज इफ एनी चार्ज कोड इज रॉन्ग ओके दे हैव अपडेटेड द चार्ज कोड योर प्रोजेक्ट हैव गिवन यूर न्यू चार्ज कोड सो इन द नेक्स्ट फोर्थ नाइट ओके बट बिकॉज यू हैव सबमिटेड इन दिस करेंट फोर्थ नाइट राइट सो इन द नेक्स्ट फोर्थ नाइट द प्रीवियस फोर्थ नाइट चार्ज कोड्स कैन बी changed okay changed and resubmit you can do re resubmit so those adjustments will be uh, displayed in the adjustment tab so that's it uh, about the adjustments and this is overall about the my t submission guys so i think every step i have explained you clearly and i hope you understand with this video the uh, time my t submission so guys if you have any sort of queries please comment in the comment section and if you have uh, anything to convey or if you want any clear answer from me you can ping me on instagram as well i'll be available and all the channel links on the the video links i'll be posting in the telegram channel guys you can subscribe to telegram channel as well so uh, that's it guys from my side please do subscribe this is a small humble request from my side guys please don't 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 ever forget to subscribe and please like the video your like uh, will give me a lot of support to uh, populate this video so if any of your uh, colleagues or friends having issue with my t you can share this video link with them as well please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment uh, to the comment section so thanks for watching guys take care